So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to download the custom dolphin build from the paste bin link. It's the first one right here, media fire. We're not going to use the entire thing, but we do need some components from it. So download it. Now we can open that up. We're going to need this folder. Use once. Drag that out. Go to user. We. And then these three. Pull those out of there. And then go to games. And drag these bottom two out of there. And then we can close this. You can use the dolphin emulator that comes included in there, but I wouldn't recommend it. It's outdated. So now we can go download a much better dolphin emulator. I recommend you use this bottom one right here, 5.011608, the beta version. So download that dolphin emulator. Um, I should also mention that for the sake of this tutorial, I uninstalled every dolphin component I have in my computer. So I don't know if maybe you want to think about doing that or trying it with your existing dolphin. So we can extract that here. Once that finishes, go to Dolphin, double click it. If it's your first time downloading it, you might have an error that, that says uh, <clears throat> that you need this thing here, VC runtime 141 dil. If, if you do get that error, you can download the file right here. Just scroll down and it's this one right here. And then you can add it right here. Just put the file right there and, and you should be good to go. No. Do not update. So the first time you open this, you should not have the Wii system menu. So if you already know how to do this, we're going to go over how to get the Wii system menu and we're going to make a me. If you don't want to make a me, you can skip this and jump to this part of the video. Otherwise, if you're new to the Dolphin emulator, you might want to watch this. So we're going to click perform online update US. Once that finishes, we're going to click on Tools, and then Load System Menu. Now, there are controls already configured, as you can see right here, but they're not very optimal. I can't... Um, like I can't even reach the top of the screen here. So what you want, might want to do is you want you want to drag this to the corner, and then go to controllers. Actually, I'll uh, minimize this so I can see this over here. Controllers, configure, and then you want to configure your controls. You can make these however you want. Except these two. These two I recommend that you do configure. Because when you play Fortune Street, you have to hold it sideways. Or you could hold it vertically, but 
it's an extra step. And if you don't configure the sideways toggle, your controls might be kind of messed up. And for this, the Wii pointer, as we saw earlier, it's not we can't we can't even reach the top one. So we're gonna click calibrate. Rotate the mouse everywhere. And then finish. We still don't have access, so we go down. And these bottom two, let's just put them on fi like 50. It makes the remote more sensitive and it gives mo more range. If you find it too sensitive, you could lower it. But as you can see, we can now reach the whole thing. Also, you might notice that the sound quality is kind of choppy. You can go to configurations, advanced. Check this box here. And you might want to put it down to somewhere. Maybe you're on 20. If you're listening to the game, you can kind of check back and forth the slider until it sounds more better. So we can close that. When you do overclock it like that, certain parts of the uh, game might be kind of laggy. But once you play Fortune Street, you'll, you'll see that it's, uh, it's not that bad. Now once you've made your me, make sure you go to configurations, Wii, and then check this right here, SD card inserted, and uh, yeah that's it for now. Close that, close Dolphin, and so the only thing you should have right here in the Dolphin folder from the one we downloaded earlier is that uh, the VC runtime file, if you, if you got an error that says you don't have it. Once you do do all this, you should have a, a new Dolphin folder in your documents. So go ahead and open the Dolphin folder within your documents. Once you do open it, we're gonna make a folder named uh, Games. In there, we're going to drag in the Fortune Street ISO. And these two here, the Wimpy Doll and the PNG Doll. And then you want to go to Wii. You want to delete this SD card. And you want to put these three files, the Wimpy Unbanners and the SD card. Once that's done, we're going to open up this Use Once folder. We're going to double click the Wimpy Unbanner. And once this opens up, make sure Dolphin is closed. We're going to drag in the Dolphin Emulator folder from the documents.
click enter twice and that's it and now we can open up dolphin now we go to configurations go to paths and then where it says default ISO click on the three dots and we're going to click we're going to select the ISO of Fortune Street. It should be in your documents. Once you do that, um, also configure the SD card path. And then you can close this and then double click right here and go to your documents dolphin folder and select games now we're going to click on controllers to make sure that the settings we chose earlier are loaded up And then we're going to double click Wimpy Doll. Uh, remember, if your game audio sounds weird, you can go to Configurations, Advanced, Overclock, and adjust this accordingly. And as I said earlier, this is where you want to have the sideways toggle. Because it's, it says this right here. And if you're using it vertically, your deep hat's going to be all messed up. All right. So, when you get when you get code 23913, the error code, apparently that error code means that your dolphin emulator was not allowed to access the Wimfi servers. And all we have to do is wait a few days. In my case, it only took one day. So that's all I did. I waited one day, and as you can see we're back now, so let's 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 give it oops. Let's give it a try. I, I, I tested this earlier, but just to show you, um, when it's your first time doing this, you should get a sort of Windows security kind of message, and it just asks you if it's okay for Dolphin to access your network or whatever. You just click yes, and it shouldn't come up anymore. And once you do that, you're in. You can go to your friend roster, your friend code's up here, and when you play with others, you have to have each other added to play. Um, so if someone else is hosting, you, you only have to add that person, and the host adds you. You don't have to. You don't have to add everyone in the in the in the lounge, just the host. So an another thing is the cheat codes, because unless you manually play through tour mode and get gold on everything in easy mode and standard mode, you're not going to have any th any um, accessories. Now it's not detrimental to playing the game, but if you'd like to customize your me a little better, what you can do is you could uh, go to configuration, general, you enable cheats, and then you right click Fortune Street, properties, you go to gecko codes, and you would click download codes, but for some reason on mine, it doesn't work. 
so what you would do is you would click add new code and name it whatever you want and then right here in this box you could type in the codes I have in this link which will also be in the description um, I believe you do need to add all of these to unlock everything because I know that I did this same procedure on a different computer and I did not add everything here I think I only added the tours completed unlocked and stamps and it unlocked most of the stuff, but not everything. So, try adding in all these codes here. One at a, one code at a time. A new code. And then you open the game. And at first, you, you, you'll, you'll only have access to the basic items. As you can see, I do have infinite stamps. But I don't have everything unlocked yet. There's only the starter items. And I don't know if you saw, but I also enabled all tours completed. But, oops, uh, clicked the wrong thing. But seemingly they're not all completed yet. What you have to do is you have to play one match. I'm not sure if you have to get first or not, but after you complete one match, everything should unlock. And once everything does unlock, you should have the majority of the items in your clothing shop there. So you, you would just go... To for example, the easiest one here, Chodane. Um, you would complete that match, and you'd have everything. And that about sums it up. That's basically how you set up Dolphin Fortune Street to play online. Um, I don't know why, but the first time I did this on a different computer, it did not give me an error code. I was able to begin the game right away. But if you do get an error code, you probably just have to wait one day. Um, and when you do play again in the future, you don't have to initiate this thing anymore. Just this one right here. What you might have to do, if you do play a custom board, you might have to set your new custom ISO. You probably have to go to paths and go to your SD card path. I mean, your default ISO path. And set that to your custom ISO if you make custom boards and then you again have to run this thing here but from then on out every time you want to play online you can just go to Fortress Street if you have any questions on on any of this please leave a comment and I'll see if I can help you out thank you for watching this tutorial